coordination compounds next chapter is coordination compounds so actually this is continued part in the d and f block elements so coordination compound is very 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 important for your competitive examination for your neat as well as je and your common ct examination very important in organic chapter in the uh, for your competitive examination is coordination compounds what do you mean by coordination compounds these are the compounds which mainly contain coordination bond coordinate bond or dative bond and that dative bond uh, is a uh, uh, containing two types of uh, atoms one should be a metal and another should be and another one should be a non metal here to the metal we have a vacant orbitals to this vacant orbitals ligands donating a pair of electron forming a metal ligand or ligand to metal dative bond so ligands donates the electrons to the metal here so this form a special type of compound called coordination bond so i already know that any compound containing ionic bonds are called ionic compounds covalent bonds are called covalent compounds similarly coordination bond is or dative bond is called coordination compounds so in this chapter the main important points present are first one is isomerism actually this is a quite from the organic compound so in the organic compounds also you may observe the uh, isomerisms in the in there also we are the isomerisms are classified into two types structural and the stereo here also we classify all the isomerisms of coordination compounds into two types one is structural another one is stereo in the structural isomerism we have linkage hydrated or solvated coordination isomerism ionization isomerism you are very familiar with these four structural isomerisms in the puz itself in case of stereo isomerism so uh, spatial arrangement will be different in the compound that's why it can show isomerism here so here it is again classified into two types geometrical and optical so geometrical is due to the presence of cis and trans isomer either facial or meridional isomers so but optical isomerism very important here optical isomerism is is uh, due to the presence of chelating chelating rings chelating rings are obtained due to the presence of bidentate ligands bidentate ligands so bidentate ligand means having two donor atom so suppose a metal is there here so here a ligand will be there like this see uh, for example uh, nh2 uh, sorry nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 so two amine group will be there here so both the amine group containing lone pair electrons are the nitrogen both can donate electrons to the metal forming two dative bonds so it's an example of chelating uh, ring here so bidentate ligand that is en en is an example of bidentate ligand so similarly oxalate is an another example of bidentate ligand so uh, uh, due to the uh, uh, presence of these uh, chelating rings you may observe the optical isomerism so chirality will be there so no plane of symmetry will be passed in a molecule so that's why so this is about optical isomerism here so next is iupac nomenclature very important very important point so for organic compounds to write the iupac name we have different uh, rules similarly to give the iupac name of the coordination compounds we have different rules here so uh, how to how to uh, first uh, to write any iupac name first we have to start with the positive ion if coordination co complex will be the uh, co co positive ion we have to name first then the counter ion or if uh, counter ion is the positive charge we have to name it first and then the coordination sphere whatever it may be so first we have to give name for positive ion followed by the negative ion and we have so many rules how to write the uh, how to give the name present in the coordination sphere first we have to go through with the uh, ligands and these lig if, uh, if more than one ligand will be there we have to arrange them in alphabetical order and then we have to um, uh, if uh, more than one uh, same uh, uh, ligand will be there then we have to write uh, as a, a prefix called ditrite tetra ithara barivodu so adhe chelating ring athwa bidentate ligand ittu andre bis tris athara barivekagutte so after writing the ligand's name then we have to write the metal name 
So metal nine bari waga yen mar beko positive complex agi dre metal ina name yen idio ade bari beka gate negative complex agi dre negative complex agi dre so uh, metal ina lost ali eight eight anta ondo word ondo uh, add mar beka gate so so ye first adal uh, iri tini wa UPSC name bari yu kia different rules ide a uh, rules nala ni follow mar beka gate after that we have Warner theory so one of the beautiful scientists in this uh, he given more contribution towards coordination compound that is Werner Alfred Werner so he is the one who gave the first idea regarding the coordination compound by treating a uh, substances with a uh, silver nitrate solution he, he will get a different uh, um, precipitates of uh, AgCl so why different uh, moles of AgCl is obtained uh, while studying that concept he came to know that uh, some of the special groups are present in a square bracket that is coordination sphere which cannot be ionized so that idea may is the first uh, uh, which brings more points regarding the uh, coordination compounds so Werner theory postulates so among them he differentiated ligands into two types so primary and secondary what are primary valences what are secondary valences how they are represented and all these things will be there in the Werner's theory and next we have VBT valence band theory using this we can find the uh, hybridization geometry and uh, using that you can find the uh, uh, magnetic property of a complex so uh, if the hybridization is sp3 what is its geometry and what type of complex it is whether it is high complex high spin complex or low spin complex remember if d is the starting uh, hybrid orbital so if this is a uh, low spin if d is there in the last so then that is we can call it as a high spin that means if in the hybridization so if d is first this is what 3d 3d uh, orbital use maadi delta so if d is in the last it refers it is a 4d use maadi delta so inner d orbital balasidre adu low spin agirutte outer d orbital balasidre high spin agirutte adu electronic conference so adella barkondu nu maadbekagutte hybridization yen iddaga yava geometry irutte yava type complex irutte adu para na diamagnetic anta ondu table kuda kottidini so after that we have crystal field splitting theory so d orbitals may divide it into two sets so depending upon the orientation depending upon the direction of approaching a ligand to metal so if these ligands approaching this metal along the axis so one type of uh, uh, you know deviation will be there so if uh, ligands are approaching the central metal between the axis one type of uh, uh, splitting will be there so d orbitals will be split into two uh, two sets eg sets and t2g sets so eg set containing d x square minus y square and dz square t2g set containing dxy dyz and dzx orbital so uh, we have two types of crystal splitting here uh, crystal field splitting and uh, energy required to for this uh, splitting is called crystal field splitting energy so in octahedral complexes it is represented by delta naught in tetrahedral complexes it is represented by delta t so um, this uh, energy csfe crystal field splitting energy is directly proportional to csfe is directly proportional to strength of ligand strength of ligand more the strength of the ligand stronger ligand so will leads to split the d orbitals into more so weaker ligand will leads to split the d orbitals into a lesser extent so so d orbitals split aagibittu nimge erad set agutte ondu eg set to innondu t2g set to adre octahedral aadre bere tara tetrahedral aadre bere tara so ee rithi split aguvanta energy velder madhe energy difference enide so this is what delta we call it as c s f e crystal field splitting energy so stronger ligand itto andre ee energy difference jaasti irutte weaker ligand itto andre ee energy level kadimi irutte so yav rithi adu energy kandidibodu anta athwa yav rithi adu strong weak anta kandidibeku andre ligand na we have a series called spectrochemical series so this spectrochemical series is used to find the strength of the ligand so generally ee series alli different ligands na arrangement maadidare increasing order of arrangement of ligands according to their field strength is called spectrochemical series so generally used to say like this 
ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ವೀಕ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸು ಅಂತ ಅವ್ನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅಯೋಡೈಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜನ್ಸು ಅದಾದಮೇಲೆ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟು ಆಕ್ಸಲೇಟು ವಾಟರು ಅದಾದಮೇಲೆ ಅಮೋನಿಯಾ ಇ ಎನ್ನು ನೈಟ್ರೋ ಗ್ರೂಪು ಸಿ ಎನ್ನು ಸಿ ಒ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕೊಬಾಲ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೀಕ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಫೈಟ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ಸ್ so if carbon monoxide is the ligand so we have a another different types of complexes called metal carbonyls here we can observe both sigma and pi bonding back bonding will be there and they are more stable complex one of the important point in the metal carbonyls here in the metal carbonyls metal oxidation state is metal oxidation state is zero metal has oxidation state zero so very important ಸೊ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನ ನೀವು ಸೊ ಸಿನಾಪ್ಸಿಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಯು ಮೇ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಸಮ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಷನ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇ ಎ ಎನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಿಕಲ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಒ ಟೆಕನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇ ಎ ಎನ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಟೋಮಿಕ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು so ean can be calculated using a formula so atomic number of the central atom minus oxidation state of central metal atom so uh, plus half into number of ligands so this is the uh, formula to find the ean effective atomic number so in this complex nickel is the central atom with atomic number 28 minus in the metal carbonyls i told you in the synapsis itself metal carrying a oxidation number of 0 plus half into number of ligands how many ligands are there here 4 so so here you may get so 28 minus 0 plus uh, sorry it is a 2 into number of ligands 2 into number of ligands so it become 2 4 is 8 so answer here is so 36 so uh, what is the formula to calculate ean z z means number uh, atomic number of the central metal atom minus its oxidation state plus 2 into number of ligands so for this complex you will be getting 36 is the ean number effective atomic number hence option a is the right answer so so similarly if, if you see the second question here the iupac name for a complex is given here so this complex uh, carrying a positive charge and this carrying a negative charge so why i written positive charge here this is plus 3 this is minus 3 so this is a neutral ligand so neutral ligands in other complex are in the charge in it so that is the oxidation state of the metal cobalt is in plus 3 oxidation state here illi negative ligand is the cn minus 6 negative ligands ide so hagagi illi charge minus 6 plus 3 minus 3 barutte so this is a positive complex negative complex eradu combine maadidare neutral bandide so adre idakke iupac name bariyavaga nan avagle helidde nimge first we have to write the cation followed by the anion so this is the cation we have to give the name for first here first for this so hexa amine cobalt 3 hexa amine cobalt 3 so and here we have hexa cyano so this is negative complex hence we have to give name as uh, 8 metal again for beko 8 so hexa cyano chromate 3 so this is the right answer here hexa amine cobalt 3 hexa cyano chromate 3 is the right answer or i correct iupac name of this complex so let me see the next question here the formula of the sodium nitroprusside sodium nitroprusside is very important compound sodium nitroprusside used in the various analysis especially in the qualitative analysis qualitative analysis while identifying the presence of sulfur in the organic compound so we have to go through with the lesines test in that lesines test you may heard this word called sodium nitroprusside 
द फॉर्मूला ऑफ सोडियम नाइट्रोप्रोसाइड इज Na2FeCN6 टाइम्स NO5 टाइम्स NO सो एक्चुअली इफ सल्फर कंटेनिंग ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इज ट्रीटेड विद दिस सोडियम नाइट्रोप्रोसाइड सो इफ टू दिस NO सल्फर इज एडेड टू बिकम NOS सो दिस इज नॉट द सोडियम नाइट्रोप्रोसाइड so this is the formula of the sodium nitroproside na2 fecn taken five times no so next question is which of the following coordination entities uh, the magnitude that means total some value of uh, delta not csfe in octahedral field so crystal field splitting energy in octahedral field will be maximum andre kela kottiruvanta entities alli yavudralli so crystal field splitting energy in octahedral complex maximum ide anta kelta idane nimage already nodidivi synapses alli kuda nanu helidi nimage so crystal field splitting energy annodu idra value idra magnitude value yavu mele depend agide spectrochemical series mele depend agide spectrochemical series andre enu in decreasing order of uh, uh, ligand strength adana uh, order madrala arrange madrodana spectral chemical series antare in the spectrochemical series so first we have i minus then br minus then cl minus then no3 minus then we have f minus then we have c2o4 minus 2 then we have water then we have ammonia then we have en then we have uh, uh, cn minus 